ഗവർണർ ആരിഫ് മുഹമ്മദ് ഖാൻ മാധ്യമങ്ങളെ കാണുകയാണ് തൽസമയ സംരക്ഷണം the honorable supreme court has come with these verdicts where i feel i had lost all hope before that but now i feel there is hope that we can save our universities from all universities have been stuffed with unqualified underqualified people they are being used to recruit the cadre to recruit the relatives universities i have with me i'm going to speak right now at times now if you are interested come there what professor c n r rao has written he says every bright student of kerala goes outside what professor panikar has written he has said that the bright students after 10 plus 2 they don't want to pursue higher studies in kerala kerala with 100% literacy kerala with great educational tradition and the universities have come professor c n r rao says and so says professor panikar and professor panikar mind it is a is a man with left orientation they have said that the research work in kerala universities has come to a complete halt what a what a structure again so now i am i am hoping i don't want to get into these small things who said something against me who said yes i have taken note if somebody says something against the national unity i will take if somebody says anything against me i am not going to take any notice of that but if somebody raises this question of states provinces regionalism i will take notice of that somebody any other thing against me i am not going to take any notice i only hope that i am able to do something in the light of the judgment of the honorable supreme court i am able to save the universities save the autono- autonomy and bring people of real academic potential academic reputation to the universities that is the only goal and i am saying to you this is by legal responsibility law gives the responsibility to run the u- universities to the chancellor who happens to be governor i am saying you give me one instance where i have tried to interfere in your domain in your jurisdiction i will resign one single instance even if i have asked for posting of some officer in any district or anywhere i will resign but you have been interfering legally it is my duty to run the universities and you are interfering every day in the university now i had become totally ho- hopeless earlier but now in the light of the judgments of the honorable supreme court and high court i feel confident that we will be able to retrieve the situation and restore the academic glory to the universities thank you very much i i do not know i don't what is the what is the issue of contention tell me sir i am i am asking you you are saying they are fighting this is what you are saying logger head means what if you do not know the meaning why i should reply no what is the solution keep uh, respect the maryada that is the re- whatever legally belongs to you do that work whatever does not belong to you university is statutorily according to the law passed by kerala assembly is the responsibility of the chancellor if you will interfere there will be problem it's so easy if you are you are representing which paper janayog janayog and if you start writing for manorama then what your your bosses will do i have one ko i am giving you reply the lines are demarcated this is what government shall do this is what chancellor shall do universities come under the chancellor they do not come under the government then where is the problem respect the boundaries will can you write for the manorama 
I'm asking you, can you write for the Manorama? And if you will write, what your employer will do to you? Absolutely. Keep the Lakshman Rekha, respect the boundaries. Whatever is assigned to you by law, do that work. Do not interfere in the matter of universities. And Honorable Supreme Court has said it so clearly in the case of West Bengal. State government has no role in the appointment of the vice chancellors. And here, what a matter of shame. We have only, we had only 11 universities. All appointments are illegal. Who is responsible for it? I have all the letters with me now. I'm going to show it at this conclave. I have all the letters with me. Where I have pointed out these things. You are forcing me to do something with the help of the opinion of the Advocate General. What I consider is illegal and irregular. And whatever I had written, fortunately, has been upheld by the Honorable Supreme Court. Thank you very much. Governor Arif Muhammad Khan, Mathi Mangalai Kana Gairinu, Kerala Thilai Sarvagila Shalagala Samrachi Kana Ula Idabada Lana Thaan Naratunna Da, Banthu Niyamanam Illya Atha Kana Ula Idabada Lana Thaan Naratunna Da, Koda Di Vithikilu Da Adistana Thil, Niyamathin Da Adistana Thil Lana Thaan Munnu Uttu Pugunna Da Naavarthi Kiki Gairinu, Arif Muhammad Khan.